467,000 rebuild tolls. I was telling you about these little white envelopes from Leeway. Could forgiveness be on the way? I've asked city leaders and county leaders. So that brings me to my eighth story, talking about how Leeway is rebuilding people for tolls dating as far back as 2019. And the reason I continue to do these stories is as your Cape Coral community correspondent, you continue to reach out to me. This time, talking about the threat that if you don't pay these tolls, they'll stop your registration. You don't think they're actually going to stop your registration, but then you're like, what is this notice in the mail? That's the punishment that Lee County has told me and mailed to many other drivers. If they don't pay the rebuild tolls that are being sent out, because of the county's switch to a new invoice system. So after my last story, Lee County reached out to me and they're like, hey, we haven't put a stop on anybody's registration as of today. But like you said, they've threatened to do that. Is it, what do you think about that when you hear that they haven't done anything like that yet? They are still telling people, we're gonna stop your registration. Stephanie Sintik is a mother of three and says she got a bill for $88 that dates back to 2020. So on one hand, you're going to sit there and say, oh, no, we're not going to go after it because now people are talking and commenting about it and it all comes down to a new system. Oh, no, we're not going to do it. It's because you're not going to do it because you got caught now and it got brought up. In that email from a Lee County spokesperson, I asked why none of the 467,000 individually rebuilt tolls have had a stop placed on their registration. I got the same answer from the county that I got when I asked if these tolls should be forgiven. The county chose not to respond. But Lee County Congressman Byron Donalds did. I mean, my hope is that the tolls will be forgiven, but, you know, considering that it's much more of a state issue than a federal one, uh, we have had some correspondence into our office. And many of you have continued to trust me with your concerns over the past five months. Why does it become our fault that you switched over to this new technology? It's it's just the principle of it. Well, I was a principal for 25 years, and you, know, you, you get back to the inherent fairness of like, wait a second, man. It feels like the county is trying to take advantage of us. So if you have received one of these tolls, please feel free to reach out to me directly, and I will continue to update you on any response that I get from the county or state leaders. There should be like a forgiveness program that if you've already paid it, you shouldn't have to go and, and pay it again. Reporting in Cape Coral, Colton Chavez, Fox 4.